abandoned, destroyed, derelict. All these words describe the ancient cities found below the surface of the overworld. Infested by a mysterious disease, they were abandoned. Today, we pick up the pieces and ask the question, what happened to the ancient cities? First, take a look at these two structures. Notice the similarities in style and color. They look very similar, right? That's because the Illiters made both of them. Don't believe me? Look at the colors of wool used in the city. Now, look at these wool stockpiles in the Woodland Mansion. If you still need more proof, look at the Illiters themselves. Their ashen gray skin could be the result of many years of living without sunlight. Now that we know that the Illiters were the people of the ancient cities, we must ask how they got there. Look at this villager and this Illager. What do you see? A long nose, eyebrows, and a similar body structure. The only differences are the color of their skin and their eyes, which are only dulled in comparison to the villagers. Therefore, these two factions must have had a similar origin. One group ventured into the depths of the overworld and established cities, while the other remained on the surface. However, over time, the groups lost content, and the underground civilization was left to its own. Abandoned by the surface, the underground civilization began settling into their new home. To accomplish this, they used mine shafts to gather the materials needed. Most of the Illagers worked on building the cities under the watchful eye of other Illagers. This would be the beginning of the Illager social class system, where the Pillagers were the majority of the Illager population, with the Vindicators watching over them, and the Evokers leading the underground cities at the top of the class system. Take a look at the center of the city. This could definitely be a portal, but to where is hard to say. Lots of evidence, however, points to this being the beginning of the end for the cities. If you listen to the music disc 5, you could possibly entertain the idea that the Illagers went through this portal with a recording device. If so, we can hear the Warden and Skulk sensors in this dimension. When the Travelers came back through the portal, so did the Warden and the Skulk. The Warden then attacked the Illager city. Due to the class system, the Evokers and some Vindicators were the first to evacuate the cities. It's possible they may have told the rest of the population that they would build up their society on the surface while they left the pillagers below to fight off the Warden and then make their way out when the time was right. Back underground, the remaining Illagers found new ways to live life, like using wool so as not to alert the Warden of their presence. This would become a staple in Illager culture, using these same types of wool in beds for comfort. However, when the time came, they got up and left leaving everything behind to start anew on the surface. Thus, upon learning that the villages from whence they had come were thriving, while the Illagers had suffered and died for many years, a sense of anger and vengeance for their abandonment was evoked in the Illagers. Thus, the Illagers set out to conquer their ancient brothers and sisters, building outposts and putting down any who try to revolt against their rule. As for the portal, we must keep searching to find how to open it, or if we should open it at all.